Hey, it's Diana with Down Home Nesters, and I'm just kind of painting this double bird house that I'm repairing at the same time here. He is in sad condition, and he has a lot of keys. He has a key that's supposed to go in there, which I have a replacement for. He has keys hanging and a key here. But I'm just going to be painting it, so why don't you just join me? Alright, so let's speed this up in parts so we can see a lot more of the painting. I'm base coating with two tones of the Waverly chalk paint that you get at Walmart because I'm trying to build up some of the more quality and expensive like paints, the chalk paints such as Debbie's DIY, I just love. and. Uh, so here I'm using those two colors and a spray mister bottle, which doesn't shoot the water at it, but mists it gently. And that helps to blend and put a few colors together, have it to get the drippy effects. And so then I get into the DIY colors, the Debbie's DIY. Love these clay base paints. They are made with no awful smells, which I'm so sensitive to, and you can use them anywhere and at all times. Now I am using the beautiful coral color and getting that on the roof. I'm just going to put down one coat of this on all of the surfaces of the roof. Got my Lazy Susan back. Thank you, Tim. And then I'm using just the Americana color here just for a little bit of uh, depth. See, I use what I have on hand. Because if you don't do it and you're waiting to get all of the stuff that you just want so much, you might not ever get to it. Just use what you have. I'm doing a little wet distressing. That uh, chalk paint is just wonderful for being able to just use even a baby wipe or a paper towel that's a little wet and just kind of damp. And you go around and get the edges where you would think there'd be some wear from the time alone. And then here I'm using the Mr. Bottle a little heavier to get some water drips and, and adding some deeper tones as we go. Uh, this is the wonderful pennies from heaven from Debbie's DIY and I'm just adding that on with my finger just from the lid and I wanted to show you up close how I'm making the deepest color that I'm, I'm putting on I used the Debbie's DIY hey sailor and just any acrylic black because I'm just going to add just to see the tiniest bit of black to that mix it all up and then I'm going to have water in my brush and use the mister to get the uh, drips and the, a little more a little more transparency in the paint. So yeah, that's, that's the color we came up with. Now I'm just applying it, a little water in the brush. Then I dip a little into the mixed color that we just made. And I'm just going to start putting it on there and using the mister. So let's just watch. This is where the fun happens. This is the, uh, you know, it's, it's not the final part of the technique, but it sure does make a big difference in this birdhouse. And there it is it just it starts happening this is where it really picks up and it just starts getting an aged weathered uh, been there done that look and I just love this and I let it dry and do it again and, and keep layering with the colors I've been using and also in the end I'm going to use a little more of that pennies from heaven and get a little more of the uh, that copper patina look in there. So yeah, here I'm just using a little touch on the corner and blopping it on there. It, it doesn't require anything but getting the paint on and misting it and seeing what happens. 
So it is a fun technique. You could do this on a huge piece of furniture. You could do it on these smalls like this. Look at all that stuff in the background there that's just waiting for us to base coat and do something with. And I'll be painting that microwave cart in the back. We call it a microwave cart. It's just a little cabinet. But that's going to have a, a portrait on it and everything. So stay tuned for that video coming up. But yeah, let's just watch and let this do its own magic. If you want to see some other artists who are amazing who do this technique, definitely hop over to Debbie's Design Diary, D-E-B-I-S, Debbie's Design Diary. She's the one who's the creator of this, uh, the DIY paints that I use here. And also the Turquoise Iris does some amazing techniques like this one. So if you wouldn't mind, please help us grow this channel, like this video, subscribe if you would. We just appreciate it so very much. And now we'll come in with the Debbie's DIY and Apothecary, which is a dream color. It is so gorgeous. And uh, I've already been using it in the, like the base coat and such. So bringing it back in and then spraying, misting it some more, it just ties all of this together and just adds that depth. This is fun color. This is the pennies from heaven. And see, I just use a little bit of a paper towel, put it on my finger, and I dab right onto the lid. There's enough on the lid there. And it just makes any of these embossed areas, 
on this this was an old door plate and just makes those just the decorative parts stand out really just looks so pretty I added a little bit here and there kind of on the edges and I'm also wet distressing again just to bring some of the dark tones from underneath and it's all just coming together so what do you think of this technique is it something you have tried or that you think you might try and what techniques would you like to see me do in the future just comment below please let me know what you think of it I just love it and we're just blessed beyond measure to be doing this together my husband Tim and I and we thank you for stopping by today Watch for the next video coming up soon.